Hey guys, it's Rindy. I am here today with my finale for the Child of the 80s Project Pan collab with the Fantastic Ladies. This one has been going on for two years now. We started off in 2021 with 40 prompts and then 40 more were added for 2022 and I rolled over and anything I'd already had as a prompt I like continue like I, I counted that as a finished product so that I could continue on with new prompts throughout 2022 as well but we're not continuing so this is the finale and I do have numbers from the last two years so before this final update this this finale and the nine products I have in the project still I had finished 31 of 80 products or 80 31 of 80 prompts and there's nine still in the project so we're at right at 40 with the number of prompts I pulled in the last two years and let's get into this update for this final hurrah here on the child of the 80s so the first thing still in the project is the touch and soul no problem priming essence and this one guys is to the point where i'm like doing this to get it to come down but the reality is it there is still some in here so this one didn't quite make it but it will be easy to use up and stay tuned because i've been also like planning through doing a couple other projects we're starting a couple other introductions so some of these may find their way into that so the next thing that wasn't touched at all was the physician's formula primer this is the spotlight illuminating primer in glow and I, I didn't touch it at all I put it in here thinking that I would get through this one really quickly and then the end of it it just kept going so this one never got used, but I I thought I thought wrong. So then the Josie Moran Argon Oil. This is full of cat hair because it sits on my nightstand and so does my cat. But it sits on the nightstand by my bed and it has gone down to here. It started the project up here. So that is where it is at. So I will probably put this back on my bed or on my nightstand by my bed so that it can get used up and that will be done the next thing is an empty it is the dove dry shampoo so that makes 32 empties throughout this whole project and this one is completely gone it has gone from 33.006 grams to 27.922 grams as an empty can and it sounds like there's stuff in there, but there's no more aerosol to spray it out. So that one is done. <clears throat> then the Ofra Body Illuminizer, guys. This one has made it as far as here, but we had a total of like four days this summer that was warm enough to wear shorts where I put this like on my legs. So you can see where like where it was where we hit real summer and I had the ability to put this on and then it was cold again I wore jeans more this year than I think I ever did before but that is where it is so this one is another one that is still just hanging on and hopefully I can get it out of my inventory sooner than later the next thing that's just been trucking along is the Kula Mineral Face Sunscreen. This one has gotten as far down as this green line. I did start making good progress on it in the last couple of months. I was stagnant up here for a little while, but we are making headway on that. I've been using sunscreen on my face every day again, like I should be, and like you should be. But yeah, sometimes it just doesn't happen, guys. The next thing is the Wet n Wild, the gold glitter liner. And this one, I've marked it from up here down to here. And I'm wearing it today and I enjoy it. And it's still going on well. This one's been around for ages and it's still pretty, 
pretty darn moist, like good to go. Um, I'm at the point where I think I need to take the stopper out. And once I do that, it's gonna dry out quicker. So I may put it in a project and work really hard to get it like out as much as I can before I take the stopper out and then take the stopper out and try and pan it really quickly. So we'll see, um, we'll see, but I don't want it to dry out because it is something I enjoy. So the next thing that I was on the fence about, I believe that was actually my prompt, was the Wet n Wild Brass Glitter. And this one actually has managed to get a pan in it. And I'm not as mad at this as I thought I would be. So it is glitter and Vaseline, but it's not been as annoying. I've put it on my eyes, I put it on as a highlighter, and it's not been as annoying as I expected it to be. Um, it's not necessarily something that I will use every day, but it's not offensive enough for me to declutter it. Does that make sense? So then the final thing still in this project is the Rimmel Polish in Mania. This one just got entered into this at the beginning of December. So I it's still to like very opaque packaging or polish in there and I can't really mark it. But I did wear it like three times, four times. Um, it is what I'm wearing now. I just repainted my nails one more time before the video for good measure. And that's it. So. We made it to halfway with pulling prompts and 32 got used up. So that is not awful. That is 32 more products out of my inventory. I've really not been buying a whole lot. So we are dwindling this down guys. And eventually I guess I'll have to stop panning because this is the ultimate goal is to not have enough makeup to need to do this right so that is 32 more products that are not in my my space my mind space my general space and not continuing on in life with me so that is everything that is the child of the 80s project pan I hope you'll check out the Pantastic Ladies. Stick around, see what projects I've got for the new year. Till the next time, I will talk to you later.